it's the first TV series to co-star South Florida since Flipper and Gentle Ben. The opening every week will be glitzy and picturesque, but it's local officials' worries about the rest of the show that brought them to a preview tonight. Scarface and star Al Pacino were forced to film out of town because of a script packed with drug wars. Miami Vice also has drugs and more. The issue is Taurus and whether watching this show will make them less likely to visit Miami Beach in South Florida. Because if the mayors and managers think that Miami Vice will turn off tourists, they may turn off cooperation with the show's producers. The series gets technical assistance from Dade County, along with permission to use off-duty Metro officers and cars on camera. And producers say, if you think Miss Universe was kind to South Florida, wait till you see Miami Vice. Please. They're going to love the show so much that they will, uh, the city has never looked better. Honestly, uh, it'll be a one hour travel log. But reaction to the screening was decidedly mixed. If they show the scenes of the bay and the causeways and the marinas and the beaches, I think that that winds up being uh, uh, a good portrayal of the area. I think that the story itself is an exciting story. I, I uh, regret that uh, Miami is represented as uh, everything being solved with a gun or with a fist or with racing automobiles and uh, that the other aspects of Miami are not represented. However, that is not the purpose of the show. County manager Merritt Sturheim was a no-show tonight. He'll see Miami Vice later in the week. But so far, it looks like the show's biggest battle will be when it premieres next month in the ratings. Tim Minton, News 4.